Chewing. <laughs> guys having a good time with that uh, Wayne's World shit, right? Fucking Wayne's World. This shit is funny at my expense. But Wayne, Wayne, let me correct you. Didn't Wayne? Wayne had the hat and hair, but no glasses, and and Garth had the glasses. So I guess I'm a combination of both of them, right? <laughs> party on, party on, party on. Marcus Conti reporter. So um, September 13, right? Big day in New York. Pow! This is New York politics. You're gonna see a medium. Small, medium-sized kabang. Uh, power grab, right? What's the power grab all about? I don't know. I'll tell you about it. Let me tell you what it is. Well, somebody asked what statue that is right there. That's um, Verrazano uh, because of the Verrazano Bridge. That's what the plaque says. Uh, so, so the election, the selection process, right? In New York, is uh, it's a little different. The primary for the Democrats hasn't happened yet uh, they push it back as far as they possibly can to manipulate the shit right and so on September 13 the New York elector the electors uh, voters will go to the poll and cast the ballot for either Cynthia Nixon the pink pussy hat wearing liberal from the left is going to challenge the corporatist Democrat Andrew Cuomo the sitting governor and I mean, this is just for shits and giggles. I know a lot of people are outside of the city, but you're going to see a little bit of a kabang. I'm predicting, right? Because why? Right. Well, the first thing that we notice is that September 11, uh, September 13, is falls between the two Jewish holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. <laughs> now, in New York, the Jewish vote is huge, <laughs> huge. It's not only the Jewish vote, but Jewish consent. So, anti anything anti-Israel whatsoever will will could cost you the consent in New York. See, the election's already rigged. Cuomo wins. That's already decided. And on the uh, Attorney General side, there's a candidate. Her name is Letitia James. She's in the pocket with Cuomo, so she'll she'll have successfully replaced uh, Eric Schneiderman. See, this is the power grab, right? Right. This is the power grab. What what you're going to see in New York? It's just fun to watch, right? But um, you can expect. Well, okay, so 9/11, right? The big event, 9/11, is going to draw. It draws the usual media frenzy every year, and two days later they do the power grab, where they reappoint the incumbent, and they stick the you know the the the, the corporatist uh, in there as the attorney general, so Wall Street is safe. See, there's no way. You know, when hell freezes over, two lunatic left liberals will take over New York politics. It ain't gonna happen. Cuomo and James, as opposed to Nixon and Zephyr Teachout, right? So, who's who's actually winning the consent? In my view, I think the I think Zephyr Teachout is wildly popular in New York, and so is uh, Cynthia Nixon of Sex in the City fame famous person right can is can a celebrity win in, in an election <laughs> of course of course a celebrity can win so what you what to expect All right so they're gonna try to tarnish Nixon as a they're gonna it's gonna be a media blackout but you're gonna see a mild blip some kind of little I predict a slight you know terrorist attack boom and it throws Cuomo into the spotlight ah, ah Andrew a chance to talk about how 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 pro Israel he is, and how how pro crime, and how he's done such a wonderful job for the people. But that's the smokescreen. The real shit is that he's in the pocket with Wall Street, and they like him, and they're gonna keep him there until he fucking either dies or he runs out of time. Right. So the idea of of a Cynthia Nixon governor of New York is a pipe dream. Lefties, get over yourselves. It's not gonna happen. Right? They already, they, that's already decided. But what is interesting, because they need to, they're so greedy and so, you know, fucked up, that they'll, they're gonna take out a little bit of an insurance, an insurance marker. A little, a little pow, a little boom, ba bing, ba bang. Somebody gets run over, a little bomb goes off, pseudo bomb. Some kind of fake fucking, false fucking fucker, fucker, fucker. 
thing goes off, right? And uh, they're gonna, you know, they'll now the other the, the the strength of Nixon is that she's married to a Jewish man and has two Jewish children. Ah, he loves the Jew. <laughs> now, now you can start the thread. Conti's anti-Semitic. <laughs> guys are fucking crazy, man. Get your heads out your asses. So, Cynthia Nixon. Who do I like? I like Cynthia Nixon. I think that she's, you know. Universal single payer health care. Oh my god. <laughs> She's, you know, delete college student loans. She's for getting money out of politics. She's really. You think they're gonna let that shit. You, you think they're gonna let the fucking pink pussy hat in the, in the, in the gubernatorial office and, and manage Wall Street? Remember where you are. An old, uh, I'll give you an analogy, one analogy. I used to play music in the city. And in CBGB's, a very. Uh, of course, you've heard of CBGBs, right? When you would play in CBGBs, there was a sign in the locker room, and it, it said, "Out of towners, remember where you are." <sighs> There's such fucking wisdom spray painted on the walls of CBGBs, as if to say, "This is New York," you know. This, that, you know. So the idea that someone's going to come in and sweep that election is ridiculous. So. Expect a slight, uh, uh, medium, small, medium size, false flag, and you're going to see um, Cuomo step to the limelight, step out in front of the crowd, and the hero, and you'll see a, a genuine, uh, a genuine media blackout. They won't, they won't say Cynthia Nixon's name now until the end, right? until after it's over. Uh, what else? So, I mean, this is this is big picture stuff too, because. Because this is how it works, right? It's a it's a one, two, three, punch, ball kick, you know, kick from behind, fucking kneecap. That's what this. That's how the elections are stolen, right? And I, and to my Trump people, the people that still believe that it's uh, voter fraud, voter fraud, the Mexicans are coming in to vote. Twenty five Mexicans were rounded up to vote. Oh my God, they caught them. <laughs> It's not. That's not how. That's not how elections are stolen. It's not. It's not 25 guys on a bus that swing an election. It's the guys that count the votes. That's called election fraud. You're talking about voter fraud, right? That's the. That's the. That's the. That's the default term to, to to prevent you from. From your full right to vote, right? To prevent to. That's that's called voter suppression. The, the establishment loves voter fraud. But when you talk about election fraud, that's that's telling them, that's calling them out. They purge 200,000 votes. They shut down the polls. They take the they take the paper ballots and throw them in the garbage before a recount. That's election fraud. Right? So that's what we're we're up against. And in New York, all the the machines are all controlled by the Democratic Party. So the idea of a fair, free and fair election is ridiculous. Which brings me to my final point: is that what we are up against is free and fair elections that we no longer have in this country. You see, the people believe and know and understand what is right for the people. But for some bizarre reason, 90% of it gets lost in the shuffle somehow, right? right? Only 10% of what the people want gets heard in Washington, and 90% of it satisfies the corporate oligarchy, the monopoly. So, I don't know, just, just for a heads up, if you're, if you're new to, to politics, I know you guys like to you got your heads down the rabbit hole most of the time. I like it; it's fun. But the real, the real shit. If you really want change, start paying attention. How do you, how do you, rather than calling out, uh, you know, rather than calling out minor corruption, go after the big, the big take. The big take is seize power and seize power in Congress. Five thirty-five. Marcus Conti reporting. Oh, while you're here, buy some stickers. They're fucking beautiful, man. You're gonna love them. Peace.